When we are together in person, we share joys and concerns with one another. I invite you now to think of those joys and concerns that you share with us and those that you hold close to your heart. Consider them. If you have joys and concerns you wish to share, you can send them into the church office or to me, and we will be sure to list them as we send out our prayer concern lists. Will you join me as we pray? Most gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for this Lord's Day on which we once again encounter the risen Lord we praise you and honor you for all of the love and glory and joy you have poured into this world and into our lives as you sent your beloved son Jesus to be present among us, to breathe your spirit into us, to give us peace. We know, O oh God, that there are many troubled hearts around the world today in many places, and we ask that you send your spirit to them. Send your comfort and care to all who are sick in body or mind or spirit. Send your spirit of peace to every troubled heart. Guide and keep the leaders of every nation, O God. Give them wisdom and compassion. Give them integrity and a love for their people. Give them always the greater concern for the common good. We pray for everyone who is sheltering in place, O oh God. Make your presence known to them. Give them your peace. We pray especially today, O oh God, for those among us who have been ill. We name them before you in our hearts, and we know that you send your caring and loving spirit to surround them. Give them always the knowledge that we are praying for them and caring for them in all the ways that we can. We pray for those who would be sitting at bedsides but instead are looking into windows or mailing letters or calling on the telephone. Comfort them, O oh God, and let your spirit of peace descend on them. We pray, O oh God, for needs that we do not know, for those who struggle with issues of mental health or physical health, for those who are in poverty, for those who are unemployed, for those who are fearful, for immigrants who may not know what will happen next, for essential workers whose anxiety must at times be overwhelming. Be with them, O oh Lord. And we lift up to you the prayers that we make in our hearts and in our homes. All these prayers we offer in the strong name of Jesus, our risen Lord, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 